Good afternoon or good evening to you all. Uh, my name is Chris. I appreciate you taking the time to stop by my little corner of the internet. Uh, here we're doing a walkthrough on how to fix the Helium backup app for Android. Uh, it's a very popular app. It hasn't worked for the last few weeks, but uh, after a few weeks of digging myself, I was able to find a solution that fixes the app. Uh, I'd like to credit Adam Geary from the reviews for the Helium app on the Google Play Store. Uh, this method was suggested by him. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using BlueStacks, but this works just as well on a physical phone. And uh, this is going to be the beginner's guide, so if you know a bit more about how to get around your computer and how to do things like enabling USB debugging on your phone, things like that, go ahead and click the I card and there will be a video linking to, or there will be a video with a briefer version of the process. But for those of you who decide to stay welcome, I'll be uh, holding your hand through every step of the process. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to keep in mind is that Helium is both an app for the, your PC and for your phone, and you're going to need both in order to effectively use it. Uh, the connection between the desktop app and the Android app is what enables you to back up and save uh, save game files from your phone without having to root your phone. And so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download and install the Helium app. Uh, you'll be taken to, you just want to Google Helium desktop app. You'll be taken to clockworkmod.com. Uh, we're going to go to the desktop installer and you'll be taken to the GitHub website. You'll want to download the Windows installer, not the Chrome one, even though it says it's recommended this uh, fixed method only works with the Windows installer. We're also going to want to download uh, the ADB drivers. We're going to go over here on the right hand side, it says ADB drivers, click on that, and we're going to download these as well. Uh, for the sake of speeding this up, I've already downloaded both of these files here and put them in my installers folder. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is double click on Carbon Setup. Uh, most people will just want to leave these settings alone. Uh, I use two hard drives and my D drive is a little bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and install that on my D drive. Prompt for authorization and authorize that. <clears throat> Helium has been successfully installed. Great. Next thing we're going to want to do is install the Universal Drivers. Perfect. Like before, I'm going to change this to my G drive, but you are probably going to want to keep it on C, Program Files, x86, just like before. And next, yes, I want to allow changes. All right, perfect. Now Helium and the USB drivers are both on my system. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we need to do. Uh, the next part depends on what you want to do. Uh, in the description, uh, I have a link to a download where you can download this little zip file that I've compiled for you. It has the three files you need to uh, fix the Helium desktop app, as that's where the problem is. But if the link is now broken and you're watching this sometime in the future, or if you just don't tr uh, trust random files from strangers on the internet, that's totally fine. We're also going to go over the process on how to get uh, the other files that we need. Uh, so if you're just going to be using the zip file, go ahead and skip to uh, this part of the video. Uh, if you're going to be downloading the files manually, then uh, stick around. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, we're going to want to look for Android SDK. You'll likely be taken to a website that says download Android Studio and SDK tools. We're going to click download Android Studio. Click this. I have read the terms and conditions and click download Android Studio. Of course, I'm not going to do this because as you can probably surmise, I already downloaded this ahead of time in preparation for this tutorial. After you've gone ahead and downloaded that, go ahead and double click on that exe file and it'll pop up. 
run. Setup is going to load for a moment. Allow authorization. Next. Uh, you want to make sure that both of these are checked. So you want Android Studio to be checked and Android Virtual Device checked. This one is a very important. This, this little folder uh, contains the files you need to be able to get Helium up and running. So we want to make sure they're both checked. Like with those other installers, I'm going to change it to my D drive. You may want to leave it on C drive for your own installation. I'll do next, next, install. Perfect. Now this is going to take a little while, so I'll cut away and then come back once the installation is finished. All right, now that we've got that going, we're going to go ahead and hit next and start up Android Studio right away. That'll be happening in the background. It's initializing. Uh, the first time you see this, you might get this window. You might not. Uh, welcome, the wizard will set up your development environment for Android Studio. Let's hit next. Uh, let's go with standard for this option, just because I don't want to mess with too many different things. I want to do Darkula just because I'm a night mode kind of person. And then let's hit finish. It's going to download and install a few different things for us. And install and unzip those. Uh, like before, I'm going to go ahead and close this and then cut back. I'll be right back. All right, perfect. Our installation is finished. You may be prompted a few times to allow administrator privileges. That's totally fine. You can go ahead and accept those. This is from the official Android developer. It's not some sketchy thing on the internet that's trying to steal all your data, although one could argue that Google already is stealing all of your data, so it's up to you to decide. Uh, you might get a few errors like uh, HaxM installation failed. That's totally fine. That's not something we need. We're only here for specific parts of the program. Uh, in the event that you didn't get that initial opening welcome screen to do the startup wizard, you should get this screen. We're going to want to tap on configure down here and do SDK manager. Uh, this window can also be accessed from the main uh, screen. We're going to go ahead and uh, click make application. Let's do Oreo. Maybe not Oreo, Nougat then. Lollipop, perfect. And then we'll do finish. And it'll start up. So if you get to this window instead of the other window, that's totally fine. And I'm showing you how to get to that SDK manager the same way. You just go up to the top right. There should be a little button. Normally it's under tools and you'll see something that says SDK manager uh, for this installation. It's not there. You can just go over and see this little icon of a gray square with a little blue arrow. Click on that. Perfect. We're at the SDK manager. We're totally fine. We're going to go Android SDK over on the left hand side. SDK tools. We want to set it so that this has a green check mark. The emulator, the SDK tools and the SDK platform tools all have a check mark. Uh, if they all already are check marks, that's totally fine. You can ignore this next step. But for me, this one wasn't totally installed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit OK. It's telling me about what data this is going to take up on my drive. And I've got 100 gigabytes or so left free. So I'm OK uh, accepting this agreement and installing this information once again as part of the installation process. We're going to not cut away because that was surprisingly quickly. We can go ahead and click Finish. And then we can close down Android Studio. We don't really need that anymore. All right, now that we've got Android Studio downloaded and installed, uh, welcome back to those of you who decided to use the zip file instead of downloading the manual method. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up some files. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit tidy. Uh, I've got two shortcuts here to folders on my app. Uh, the first one we're going to want to open up is Clockwork Mod, and this is going to be in a specific directory. It's going to be that folder where you installed Helium and the ADB drivers. That's going to be D program or C for you guys. 
C, Program Files, x86, Clockwork Mod. We're going to want this folder, and we're going to want to open up two other folders on the left-hand side of our screen. Uh, if you've got the zip file, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and open that up, and you'll see three little files in here. Uh, that'll be adb.exe, adb win api, and adb win usb api. Uh, but in the event that you don't have these windows, let's go ahead and open something else up. You're going to want to, in uh, a new window separate from this one that has the Helium drivers open, uh, we're going to go to a different folder. Uh, we're going to go to our C drive. Even if you installed Android Studio onto your D drive, uh, you're still going to want to head to your C drive because we're going to go into Users, and then your username, my name is Chris, we're going to go to a specific file. However, this folder that I need to go to is currently hidden, and I wonder why that could be. Um, we're looking for a folder called App Data, but as you can obviously see, there isn't an App Data folder here. Well, solve that problem on Windows 10, you can just go View, Hidden Items. And there we go, that App Data folder pulls right up for us. Uh, if you're using Windows 7 or a different operating system, you can look up how to to reveal hidden items within that other OS. Uh, let's, we're going to head into App Data, Local, Android, SDK, and Platform Tools. And as you'll see right here at the top, we've got these same three files. We've got adb.exe, adb win api, adb win usb api. And these are the three files, these are the exact same three files that I threw into here. We're going to want to first open up uh, Helium, and then go to Win32, and you'll see adb.exe, adb win api, adb win usb api. These are older files, as you can see they were created in 2015, uh, they no longer work in 2017. <laughs> as opposed to 2019 right now. So this this might not be as effective as some other things. So that's why we downloaded uh, this updated version of these three files that it's relying on. So we wanna go ahead, uh, copy these three files, copy, not cut, paste. We want to replace the files in the destination. Excellent. And if you're doing that, with the zip folder, you can just copy each of those, copy, paste, replace the files in the de in the destination. Perfect. Uh, we're good to go. Now let's go back to the Clockwork Mod folder. And now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and open up Universal ADB Driver. And you should just see these three folders, not in here, obviously. But just in this main universal ADB driver folder, you'll see this one, this one, and this one. And these should be three familiar names by now. Uh, right now, you can just copy these same three files and paste, place the files in this destination. Perfect. Now these files are replaced and you are good to go. Uh, that's all you really need to do. Uh, if you know how to use Helium when it's working normally, you can go ahead and close out of this video right now. But if you still don't know how to work with Helium, we'll finish that part of the tutorial as well. Uh, we can go ahead and close these three windows now. All right, this next part of the guide is for people who are using BlueStacks or a similar, <laughs> similar emulator uh, for those who are using an Android phone, just get to this part of the video and then we'll get right back with you. Uh, we'll just wait for the engine to start really quick. And as you can see, I've got uh, some apps here on my phone. Uh, we're going to want to tap on the settings, open up the settings and go through preferences. You should see an option down here on BlueStacks that says enable Android debug bridge ADB. Blue sex may not be fully protected with the setting turned on. You may consider turning it off after. That's totally fine. We know what we're doing. We're going to check that little box and then we're going to have to restart BlueStack. So we're going to turn it off and then turn it back on again. And I'll cut to when I've done that. And we're back. Welcome back, physical phone users. What we're going to do uh, at this point is something that is 
the same both on a physical phone and on an emulator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. Uh, I'm assuming you're already signed in. We want to search for Helium and we'll find an app that says Helium App Sync and Backup. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. We're going to install. And this will take a moment to download and install. Uh, and you want to do the same thing exactly on a physical phone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust these apps personally. And I'll cut back when we've downloaded that. All right, excellent. Looks like that app is installed. Uh, we can go ahead and go to the home, close the Google Store. Now you'll see that I'll have two apps here, Hearthstone and Helium. Well, first, we're going to want to, this is for physical phone users only. If you're using BlueStacks, uh, this is something that we already just did. Uh, you're going to want to tap on Helium before you plug the phone in. Uh, tap Allow, and we're going to want to do OK. Uh, at this point in time, you'll see a little window, and you'll want to tap on Enable USDB. In your Android settings, you will find a setting to enable USB debugging. OK, great. Uh, when you click on OK, it'll take you exactly to uh, the window that you need. On a physical phone, there will be a little switch that says USB debugging. It'll be switched to gray, switch it to the green or the on sign. Then you're going to go ahead and close the app, and then you're going to want to plug your phone into your computer uh, using a USB cord. Then we're going to go ahead and open up the Helium app on our computer. And it'll say to enable Helium on your Android, please connect it to USB. That's totally fine. We want to make sure that our phone is plugged in or our emulator is running and then tap and open up the Helium app on your device and hit OK. And as you can see, uh, Helium has been enabled on your Android. Android app backup enabled. Perfect. Uh, at this point, you can unplug your phone from the computer. Uh, you obviously can't take an emulator out of a computer. But that is something you could do if you really wanted. Uh, we can go ahead and close the Helium app now. You can use it as normal. Uh, if you need a guide on how to use Helium, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Uh, on your Android phone, you're going to want to tap on Select All. And it'll show a series of apps that will come up. Uh, for now, we just have the texting and the dictionary apps because those are the only ones that have any data aside from the install files that are installed. And uh, you can choose to do app data only. This is the part that Helium does that other backup apps don't do. Um, if you disable it, um, then it will back up everything, including the APK file, which is the installer that Android uses. Um, we're going to go ahead and check this because we just want to back up the app data. And we can tap on backup, internal storage, and it may prompt us for a security key. That's totally fine. We're going to close this and then we hit OK. Perfect. Now that's how you have backup apps. But we can do restore and sync. Uh, internal storage. You can tap on which apps you want to restore. I just want to restore the dictionary app this time and I'll tap on restore. It may prompt you for an encryption key. You can ignore that. Just don't touch anything. That's totally fine. Uh, cancel and that app has been restored so you are good to go that app data that you backed up has now overwritten the old previous data so you are good to go if your phone uh, is ever restarted or the battery dies or if you turn off the emulator uh, you will need to do that initial process again where you uh, plug your phone into the computer and start up the Helium app uh, because there's some sort of reset in the Android's uh, settings that causes that to become disabled. And after you've done this initial process where uh, backup has been enabled on your device, uh, you can disable USB debugging. I know that some apps don't really like that. Uh, but Helium has been enabled on your Android. Perfect, that's all we needed. You can uh, unplug your phone, disable USB debugging. You're all good to go. All right, 
Thank you for checking out this little guide. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you're able to uh, do some good work with your Android devices. Uh, I appreciate it, and have a good one. Bye.